this January. It's really cold and frosty and for 2023 our caravan year is starting a bit earlier than usual. We're off to Bedfordshire and we're staying on a CL site which is not something we do very often. I'm going to be attending a business event this weekend. Steve's going to be doing his own thing and we'll be trialling a CL site so you know it's exciting. Let's see what it's like, trying something just a little bit different so more on that later. And it is that cold outside. See the, See the umbilical cable when you connect it to the car and you do that twist, you know, to get it all connected. Well, the twist wouldn't work because it was so frozen, so I had to warm that up <laughs> before I did it. Oh, anyway, job's a good one. This is the site we're going to visit. I bet it won't look like that when we get there, given that it's January and freezing cold. As you can see, there are very few amenities, including no toilets. So I'm not really looking forward to that, but we've got all our own facilities, so you know, we can make do. And with this site, which has got five stars, five ticks for um, a CL site, you ring up and make your own booking, which made it dead easy for us to do it and was much easier than booking through the caravan and camping club system. Yeah, because the new methods are renders, isn't it? That's it, we're ready to go. We get all hooked up and we're off. Now for us, it's a fairly straightforward run. Straight down the M4, pick up the M25, and then straight up and up the M1. And exactly two hours and eight minutes, as that's what it says, we'll be there. And so after a fairly uneventful M4 stroke M25, we whiz up the motorway and go through Luton without any hitches. And the journey is pretty uneventful until we get to this strange road which has got is straight on with loads of giveaway signs. And we did have a little bit of a moment with a tractor or two. And having negotiated all that, we were close. And before you know it, we're at the entrance to the site. Now this one, we were told, um, does have a uh, barrier which is electric. And she told us what the code was. So it's a little bit lumpy, this bit of road on the way in, but there were some reviews suggesting that would be the case. But up to the barriers, or straight through. Once we're in the space for the caravans, as you can see, we were alone, so we had choice of pitches. Um, so we worked out where the best place to have the satellite dish was. Um, and there are horses around, as you can see. And also we seem to have attracted uh, a very friendly little bird who I spotted in the undergrowth and who followed us around for quite a bit. Can you see him? Take a look, a bit closer. Can you see him? Hidden there? Yes, a friendly neighbourhood pheasant. I think that noise and the movement of the big white box is uh, making him move. Doesn't look all that bother though. Well, here we are. First ever time on a proper CL site, I suppose. So, as you can see, this is one row. There's our caravan and nothing else. So there's a bit of tarmac in the middle of there. And you just hoik yourself off. But what a stunning location. CLs, um, well found. So I'm actually stood in the rubbish area, and recycling and stuff. And you put your toilet waste down there, and you get your drinking water over there. 
and that's it. There is no toilet or shower, and then that thing has got a toilet and a shower in it. So we don't need any else. We have seen a great big spattering of pheasants. I think they go in these fields over here. So Fiona's on a woo woo session. It's just me. I didn't bother with the satellite dish because the TV reception is superb. I also haven't bothered with the um, internet. So this is the Sky Card in the MiFi box. As you can see, it's getting nearly 20 bag download anyway. But if you compare that to just me on my mobile phone with the normal Vodafone contract, I'm getting 40 bag, so I'm not going to even bother switching it on. He says, I can hear a car somewhere over there. So yeah, we're in, it's a farm obviously. Not a lot. Quite impressed, it's, it's like a tarmac type material that's on the floor there. Yeah, but obviously there's a caravan in there for a while. We've got I think there's, on that ballard, there's three points of connectivity. There's three on those as well. I thought you were only allowed to have five. There you are. Anyway, we're done. Is there a race circuit or something there? And this really is a lovely spot. This farm is not noisy. There aren't cows. There are pheasants though. Um, there are horses. Uh, there are people that obviously keep their horses on site. And we found when we were there, the sunsets were absolutely glorious. So orange. And our pheasant, as you can see, had a little walk before he went to bed. And the next morning, Steve and I did have time to go and take that little footpath and see what was around the farm. And now then, being the male of the species, I hadn't actually got anything in for dinner. So I went to go and find a local shop, or somewhere that sold food, and maybe a beer to drink in the caravan later on. So that's what I did. When we woke up the next morning, it's safe to say it was rather white and absolutely freezing cold. I doubt to have a little wander around. You know what it's like when it's really crunchy underfoot and to my horror discovered that the water was completely frozen and so was the um, toilet facilities. Luckily though, because Steve had been shopping the day before, we did have bottled water, which saved the day to say the least. It did make the farm look rather beautiful though. It did look lovely with all the frosty leaves, trees, grass, and all of that jazz. And as Fiona alluded to earlier, I did get bottled water, which meant I could then do the washing via a boiled kettle. Oh, thank goodness for that, eh? And the next day, which is the last day of my retreat, we head off to the retreat centre, which is a little place called Clop Hill, a few miles away. It was blue and cold though. As you can see at this centre, it has various interesting little features, including a gur. During the summer, I was very happy to sleep in this thing, but in January and freezing cold weather, not on your Nelly. There's also an underground dream room and wildlife, including this massive chicken, which at one point was up a tree. But that's it, Fiona's woo woo session is over, and I have to say, our visit to a CL, first one, I would say, pretty good. But going across country and then getting faced with this fog, my goodness. Wasn't expecting that. But please like and subscribe, hit the little bell, and we'll see you on the next one.